हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल दिस इज पार्ट फोर ऑफ इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सीरीज ऑन डिजिटल डिजाइन पर्टिकुलरली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फ्यू क्वेश्चन ऑन आर टी एल डिजाइन और डिजिटल डिजाइन एंड दिस वीडियो इज मेड फॉर यू सो दैट यू कैन प्रिपेयर और मेक अप योर माइंड बिफोर अपेयरिंग इन एनी ऑफ द इंटरव्यू एंड क्वेश्चन कंटेन विद इन दिस वीडियो आर द क्वेश्चन विच आर एक्चुअली फेस्ड बाय माई फ्रेंड इन वन ऑफ इस interview now without wasting much time let us get started now the interview starts with a very simple question and the question is make a digital design for one bit counter now you have to fill this black box where the input is a clock signal and output is q and this block is acting as a one bit counter it is a simple question but still i would like you you people should design it and for this you can pause my video you can take your time and try to make its design otherwise i will let you know the answer and the answer of this question is very simple maybe known by many of you so you you simply have to use one flip flop and output of this flip flop you have to feed to the input of d through an inverter and with this the output will keep on toggling 0 1 0 and this is what is one bit counter now let us move ahead in this interview session now in the next stage the interviewer will ask you to design a digital design for one bit counter but it should only increment its value when the input enable signal is high so you have to fill this black box now you have one extra input that is enable so when this enable is high then only your counter should increment that means your q should increment when it is zero it should hold its previous value you can take your time you can pause this video otherwise i will let you know the answer friends i am going to tell you a general method using that method you will be able to resolve any such type of uh, problem in this method you have to simply draw a state table very simple state table here you have to write all the inputs here we have only one input enable so we will write enable and because we are going to design one bit counter so we have only one flip flop so i am writing present state that is qn so all the outputs of flip flop so here i have only one flip flop so i will write qn now you have to write all the possible combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 now as per the definition as per the requirement when enable is 0 the next state on this q will be equal to the present state so when enable is 0 the next state will be equal to present state similarly when present state is 1 and enable is 0 q n plus 1 will be 1 only now when enable is 1 and the output value q is 0 we know the next state should be 1 it should be inverter then only it will act as a one bit counter so when enable is 1 output of uh, this flip flop is 1 that means q is 1 the next state will be 0 now if i tell you that i want this as a next state what should i apply at the input of a d flip flop so obviously we should apply the same value 0 1 1 and 0 now from here you can easily uh, derive the equation for this d so you have to take these two points where d is 1 now let us see uh, at this where the d is 1 uh, it is enable is 0 so enable bar into here qn is high so into qn plus now let us take a look at this point here enable is high so enable into qn is zero here so qn bar so if you see this is a, an expression of an xor gate so en enable xor qn now from here you can easily uh, see the final logic circuit diagram as we already discussed because it is a one bit counter so it will have only one d flip flop and now we need to know what will be the expression for this d it is enable xor qn so this is enable signal which is coming from outside and the other input of this xor gate is is qn 
So this way, this will be our final logic circuit diagram. Friends, now I'm going to tell you a second very important technique through which you will be able to design any of your digital logic, but with the help of multiplexers. In the previous technique, we saw that we are able to design any digital logic with the help of logic gates. For example, in the previous question, we designed our digital design with the help of XOR gate and flip flops. But in this technique, in the second technique, we will design all the logics with the help of multiplexers and flip flops. Now let us see how this technique works. Friends, in this technique, you have to write the SDL code of the given problem statement at the behavioral level without carrying its logic circuit diagram. I have written the very log code of the given problem statement, but you can use any SDL language. Now let me explain you how this very log code works. We know that whenever there is a positive edge on the clock and enable is high, so Q should be inverted then only it will be a one bit counter. Else, Q should contain it previous value. Now from here, as we already discussed in one of my previous video, that if we want to implement if else statement, synthesizer is going to implement it as a 2H21 multiplexer. So we need to design this combination logic block. Let me show you how. So you have to take one 2H21 multiplexer and on the select line we need to apply enable signal. So when enable is high, so we are going to pass Q bar, else we need to pass Q only. And Q is the output of a D flip flop. So you see Q is the output of this D flip flop and this will be the final logic circuit diagram with the help of multiplexers. Friends, in the problem statement, it was nowhere given that Q should be negated when enable is equal to high. The more precise behavioral code should be something like this. When enable is high, Q should be equal to Q plus 1, else Q should be equal to Q. Now from this uh, behavioral code, you can easily drive the logic circuit diagram. So it will be something like this. So instead of not get here, so we need to put an adder. So one of the input will be Q, another will be logic 1 and its output will be fed to one of the input of this multiplexer and another input will be Q only. In fact, this one bit adder is a NOT gate only. Synthesizer will implement it as a NOT gate only. If you are not sure what will be the logic, so this is also a good answer. Friends, I am going to wrap up this video here. And I hope that this video would be quite informative for all of you. If you really like my video, please press the like button and share it with your friends and colleagues. And to get such more videos in future, don't forget to subscribe our channel. And for the notification of the videos, don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching.